when he heard me in the kitchen grumbling one of the mornings he was just like what are you acting like that for is it because i ate your lunch bro are you serious right now so you knew that it was my lunch when you were gonna eat it but you ate it anyways don't nobody want that so i'll just stay in here and be fat for a day and figure it out a couple of days later been able to get flushable wipes on Amazon until today until yesterday technically and so I found these ones and ordered them but here's the thing after I ordered them the one that I originally used to order I realized that it was back in stock so I tried to cancel the order to order the one that I'd originally order however this was already on the way couldn't change it so I got them anyways and it was um oh wow it's actually a lot. I gotta see if it's worth the I think $25. It's 50 in one pack. Oh. Wow. So that's two, four, six hundred wipes all together. My other pack has I think 80 and I get eight packs. Three. So about the same thing and the other one is less. So we're going to go back to the original pack, to be honest. But I haven't been able to get wipes. And then I saw this one. And when I wanted to cancel the order, because they had the option of like next day delivery, like as soon as you order it, they start to um, process your order. So I tried canceling it last night and I wasn't able to do that because the order was already processed. But... Or butts will be clean around here for the next this better last a damn good while or butts are gonna be clean because I have wipes to make sure of that and I got another rug like this for the bedroom so um there's that I can't put it out myself because it, it's already in the bedroom too but it's still rolled up and everything packaged up I can't put it out because um it has to go underneath the bed. You know how you put your um, thing underneath the bed? This is such a weird angle to vlog at. So it has to go underneath the bed. I can't lift the bed by myself. So technically I can't do it by myself. So that's going to have to stay until another day. And tomorrow I go to work. So I really don't know when it's truly going to happen. Maybe over the weekend or so. We'll have to see. However, I'm going to put these away and continue watching what I was watching. I really don't think I wore this hair for long enough, but sadly, I'm gonna wash my hair right now and this really has to go. And I don't feel like doing it like this again because I feel like it just is too much work and I can't be bothered. Although I'm not gonna lie, it's very comfortable, like it's not hurting my head or anything, but it needs to go. Obviously, I need to see what I come up with like after I'm done washing it and everything because that's really how the weekly hairstyles come about like the mood that i'm in after i'm done washing my hair because honestly washing my hair is such a chore now i have to just hope that i find good enough music to listen to in the shower that is gonna actually keep me going for the entirety of like washing my hair and i also came up with this little contraption for my puffs because honestly if it's too tight it gives me a headache like i feel like it doesn't even have to be as tight. It just gives me a headache once I put it up. So half the time I have to end up taking it down and like taking it down and having to do it back. It's just so much work. I want to just keep it there and be lazy and brush up like around it every day because that's easier. So I'm about to wash it right now, but I feel like I might just end up putting it in a bun and calling it a day, a week at this point. I've also really been slacking on the workouts like separate from the hour walk that i did on sunday i really have not worked out since and today is wednesday so i really have just been here just chilling that is so sad i feel like i was doing so good before i went back to work and going back to work has just messed up my feng shui like i have to pick a struggle <laughs> i'm gonna try and see if i can really get back into staying as active because i'm not just completely laying around all day on the couch even though i've been out for like three four five days at this point but 
it's so hard to get up and like work out and then all day i'm working for so long on the days that i do work so i decided that on the days that i do work i'm not gonna work out because i'm already working out standing for 10 hours at work and surprisingly yesterday after running a few errands i said that i was gonna go on a walk like in the evening because when i was done it was like midday and the sun was dumb hot i'm not doing that to myself there's no way i'm gonna be out there at 12 o'clock walking in the hot ass sun so i'm like all right i'll just go at six o'clock and <laughs> sure enough this would definitely happen to me at six o'clock i got um an alert on my watch from the citizens app and it was pretty much saying that somebody was held at like knife point or whatever some blocks away and i'm just like um no i'm not gonna be out there walking for an hour if i start walking at 6 30 i had set a reminder on my phone to remind me at 6 30 to figure out if i'm gonna walk or not 6 30 when it when it went off this is when the alert went off too that somebody was robbed and i'm just like i'm not gonna be out there for an hour and risk getting robbed i already don't have it okay and the emotional trauma that comes with literally the last one before i go actually wash my hair the emotional trauma that comes with being robbed i don't really want that in my life right now i feel like i already have enough going on just being alive in this era in the goddamn midst of a pandemic and everything else that's just going on in the world right now like being robbed on top of all that is a death sentence like don't nobody want that so I'll just stay in here and be fat for a day and figure it out a couple of days later. Hi guys, so I'm home. It's the weekend. Today is Saturday and I'm kind of in shambles right now because I was really hoping that I wouldn't work tomorrow even though I knew that there was a possibility that I would because last weekend I didn't work at all. And before I left work earlier, right now it's 8.26 and I left at like a couple of minutes to seven and when i was leaving the schedule like was in rotation and then i realized that i'm definitely gonna be working tomorrow so this week i'm gonna be off monday wednesday and friday which friday i can't really complain about that you know but i like that it's like the in-between days but i don't know i was so bummed out about working tomorrow even though i didn't work last week so that was a little annoying so when i came home i had a package a packet of chicken inside of the freezer and so I took it out to the frost because I'm definitely gonna have to make that because the lunch that I had left in the fridge for myself for tomorrow my husband ate it and when he heard me in the kitchen grumbling one of the mornings he was just like why are you act what are you acting like that for is it because I ate your lunch Bro, are you serious right now? So you knew that it was my lunch when you were gonna eat it, but you ate it anyways. The things I go through. Anyways, so now I'm definitely gonna have to cook because even the food that was in there, that's not in there anymore. So I'm definitely gonna have to cook something now to make sure that I have food tomorrow and whenever. Because honestly, I'm not trying to be buying anything at work every single day because that's one of the main reasons why I make sure that, you know, I go to the grocery store as often as I do and that food is always inside here so that I'm not going and spending money outside especially not on food because for that I could just buy food every single day and like not go to the grocery store so we're not doing that so I'm definitely gonna make that chicken tonight I think I might I ate curry for lunch today I think I might stew it yeah well I think I might stew the chicken and honestly it is so warm right now like I feel so damn hot but I definitely have to cook that food before I go shower. But as soon as I'm done cooking, I'm going to shower. Because I really don't like when I smell like food after I have showered. Don't like that. And even though I'm kind of bummed out that I'm working tomorrow, I didn't work. I was off last Saturday. I called out Sunday. I was off. When the new schedule came into rotation Saturday evening, I was supposed to work Sunday. And then I would have been off Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Sunday I called out. So I was off Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I was off five days straight. That was a really nice little stretch. But this week he gave me the in-between days. So I work Sunday and then whatever, which I'm fine with because at least I'll get time to rest in between where I won't feel so overwhelmed, which love that for me, honestly. So yeah, there was a new girl today and I was pretty much the one who was there training her. And I feel like I don't really like that. I don't know. 
I feel like for her benefit, like I'm the best person that she could have gotten to train her because I don't know. I don't know. But I really just don't like it because I find that I don't know. I was even teaching her how to use the register and like she was just there all the time. Like every time I'd go to the register to catch somebody, she was there. And I like that she wants to learn and I want her to learn too so that so much pressure is not on me. But I feel like sometimes so I really just the personal space. You know what? Like sweetie, just if you could back up a little bit, that would be nice, you know? <laughs> but I wasn't hard on her or anything because you know, everybody has those first days and I remember what my first date was like. You know, I didn't know what I was doing and I wanted somebody to tell me um, what was up. Or I wanted to follow somebody around until I got it together, until I knew what I was doing, you know. And so I always try to make sure that when somebody's in a position where they need a little bit of help, then I'm always there to help in whatever way I can, so... I was that person for her today. She didn't even have any lunch. I think she didn't realize how long the day was going to be. And so I had lunch, but I always bring snacks because I never know when I'm going to fill for something to eat. And I ended up giving her my apple and like some crackers that I had in my bag so she could have that for lunch because she didn't have food and she said she didn't have any money. And I was not going to give her money. I'll give you my snacks. <laughs> I work too hard. <laughs> Oh god, that sounds bad. But honestly, I just gave her the snacks and it was a pretty smooth day, but I'm so tired and I just wanted to pop in and like end this vlog. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.